All right, so we're looking at factorizing quadratic trinomials. Sounds um, really complicated, but it's not. All you're doing is you're factorizing, and if it's trinomials, it's got three different sections. So let's start off. So we've got our question says x squared. Now, guys, you need to write down notes, okay? Plus 6x plus 5. Now, before we begin, I want you to label. So this is going to be a, this is going to be a b, and this will be c. Okay, on the side of your page, you're going to put A times C, and then this side is B. Okay, so, um, and above it, so before you begin, I want you to put a times there, and I want you to put a plus there. All right, so what we do is we say, okay, um, you've said that A is times C, so A is this section times C, so what number is there actually in front of that x? Well, actually, there's a 1, isn't there? So we would say 1 times 5 will give you 5. So we're going to write in our, in our little box here, we're going to write 5. Uh, I'm sorry, we're going to write 5 up here. We're going to write 5 at the top. And then your b, what's the value of b? We know the value of b is 6. Okay, so what they want you to do then is, to, in this ac column, you need to write down the factors of this particular number here. So in this, this instance, that number is 5. The only factors that you can write of 5 are 1 and 5, aren't they? Because those are the numbers that fit into 5. So we go 1 and 5, all right? Now what we need to do, we would write all the factors down if there were more. There isn't. Those numbers multiplied have to give you 5, but added together have to give you 6, which they do because 1 plus 5 gives you 6. So now we know what our numbers are, so that's the important thing. So now we go, open brackets, x plus 1, getting it from there, close brackets, open brackets again, x plus 5, getting it back from your answer. So you've got your 5 and you've got your 1 in your, in your answer. Let's do another one, so we can, um, let's move this up. So I'll give you another understanding of one. All right, let's do a green today. So now we're going to go, a to the power of 2, oh, let me just move that, let me move that away because that little, that little line here is going to irritate us, I'm going to think it's a 1, move up the way, okay, so let's go, A to the power of 2 plus 11A plus 18, alright, so next thing we make our little column, we go A, C and we go B, this is going to be our times, this is our plus, right? Now we say, uh, we know that there's a 1 here, times C, so let's put those in so we know that's A, that's B, and that's C. So if we're going to go A times C, we're going to go 1 times 18, which will give us 18. Oh, and we're going to write the 18 here. And then underneath it, we're going to write down the factors. So 1 and 18 is a factor, and we have to, it has to add up to 11. So if we add 1 and 18, we get 19, so no, that doesn't work. What's another factor of 18? Well, 2 and 9, and 2 and 9 add up together to give you 11. So we can use 2 and 9. So we go open x plus 2, open Oh, it wouldn't be x, it would be a. a, a plus 9, so used to doing it with x. I'm going to show you one more, just to get it clear in your head. Okay, let's do this one in brown. So we're going to go y squared plus 7y plus 10. I'm going to make a little thing, a, c, and b. That is our times, that is our plus. So we go y, which is 1, um, times 10 will give us 10. So we write in here, over here, 10. And we know that our b number, because that's a, b, and c, is 7. So we put our 7 there. All right, so what are the factors of 10? Well, um, 1 and 10. If we equal, add 1 and 10 together, we get 11, not 7, so we can't do that one. What about 2 and 5? Oh, there we go. 2 and 5 equals 7. So we can use it. So we go x plus 2, close brackets, x plus 5. 
Okay, so please make sure you show me all the working out when you do this too. Cool bananas!